finally doing an update on the Phytech system and how it's running. And honestly, for the most part, it's not doing that great. Um, a lot of people say how, oh, it gets better every day. Mine isn't. Uh, it's, it's, I'd say it's gotten worse. Some of the things that we're having problems with is when you come down to a, a stop or off a, a golf run down to a stop late or something, it would want to stall out. And uh, I thought the power has been not really there. It's actually been kind of hit and miss. Some days it's pretty good. Other days it, it just feels like it's down a cylinder or something. Um, I was getting some popping out the exhaust. I've been having some major issues with the air fuel ratio. Basically what's happening is when I step on the throttle and slam onto it, it would go instantly lean and then go majorly, majorly rich. But then the EFI would, would not do any EFR trim. So you look at your logs, EFR trim, 0%. Yet it's running 10.5 EFRs. Like that's ridiculously rich. Um, so I think that's a lot of why it feels so slow. Um, throttle response, terrible. Um, my carburetor, which was definitely nothing, you know, no outstanding tuning done on it, and it had more throttle response than the Phytech. I know a guy that's in the city, uh, he posts some, some informative videos on YouTube under uh, screen name or YouTube name, Neighbor75, and he's been a bit, you know, quite helpful on helping me understand you know, pro tuning, pro tuning and volumetric efficiencies and how that relates to the fuel curve, you know, given by um, Fitec. So I'm going to lean on that wealth of knowledge to, you know, continue to help me improve this system. Um, you cannot rely on Fitec's support. We are the guinea pigs. We are the, uh, the R&D department. We got to figure it out for ourselves. Reality. Okay, so I'm going to show you kind of the, some of the things that I've adjusted manually to try to help this EFI system kind of work better for what my engine's doing. So, if I can see it all. Okay, so you go to Pro Tuning, Rev Limit, D Cell. <clears throat> so, right here, the, the DFCO cut and return. So, I was saying about. I'm getting some problems with, you know, backfiring, so popping out the exhaust when I let off the gas. The fuel injectors are shutting themselves off. What we want to do is, is the cut fuel, we lowered that to 16. So, because I think default was like 30 or something like that. I don't know. Um, it, it was too high of a, a, a map pressure and it was cutting out the injectors too early. So we dropped that to 16 and I'm not really having much problems with, you know, the popping out the exhaust anymore. It also helps a bit on, you know, when I come back down to a, um, like a stop, you know, hard rail on the throttle, pop it out of gear, come to a stoplight. It wanted to stall out before and that has helped as well. This is a, probably a little more required for manual transmission cars as, you know, they're more susceptible to big drops in our in map pressure compared to an automatic uh, let's see what else we got excel pump excel pump is when there's a difference in load and fast excel is when there is a diff a change in throttle but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because you know when you change the throttle you change the load so i mean shouldn't they kind of work together um, it, it seems a little bit weird to me so what I've done, I've upped the, the percentage of fuel just a bit on the fast excel. So the idea is to dump a little more fuel as soon as I hit the gas. And then hopefully it's not going to try to, you know, hopefully the EFI is not going to try to dump more fuel in when it's not needed. So I just want that initial hit to have more fuel and then to kind of level out. It seems to be working a little bit better um, than what it was according to my logs. I've, anytime you make a change, make small changes, and then you still want the EFI to kind of adjust from there. As for the decay, according to Phytech's definitions, it says that a large decay causes the Excel pump to end sooner. And the way I read that is, say you, you know you have your your Excel pump slightly higher, like I do, right, seven percent, and then 
if you have a larger decay number, it's going to shorten the amount of time it's dumping that fuel in. So, so a bigger number makes it end sooner, a, a smaller number makes it continue longer. That's how I'm reading it. So I'm still testing a bit. Um, by having my Excel pump up by 7 you know, percent or whatever, I feel that when I'm trying to get off the line from a stoplight, it's now dumping too much fuel. So I'm just gonna bring this down 5% and see that it helps at all. And we're gonna still run the rest of this like that. I haven't changed anything on tip out or anything like that, so back. Um, is there anything else I've done? I have also my uh, fuel trim max. I changed it to 50% because I wanted to be... No, I think the 50% was default. 39% I know I changed for the minimum because it wasn't doing enough trimming um, when I wanted it to. So I made that change. Um, I also changed the the loop speed. I think default is 44%, so I changed mine to 60, which comes out to 59, to try to make it learn a little quicker. So it's reading the, the uh, it's going to make the changes faster on the fly. At least that's the plan. That seemed to make a nice difference. I like that. So anyways, these are the changes that I made. And um, it's definitely helping. I feel like it needs a lot more changes to continue. But uh, I mean, I guess that's the way it goes. Um, so let's see how these changes work, hey? It starts right up nice. Log on. That's better. felt okay. <clears throat> of course the butt dyno is always the most accurate uh, <laughs> form of telling if your car is running well. We're getting a bit of a crosswind so window up which makes it pretty toasty in here. Any of you that have a muscle car, black interior, will know just how sweaty and hot it can get into these cars. Uh, especially with vinyl seats, they don't breathe. They look good, but for a long period of time, your shirt is gonna feel like it just came out of the laundry. As for what's coming in uh, later down the road, in June, I hope, um, Dying to get to the drag strip. The, uh, I still have my drag tires on, even though I haven't got to use them once, which is killing me. Uh, weather's always crappy, so I'm hoping I can get to the drag strip. Um, there's a road course event coming up. I won't be using my new tires just yet because they. Uh, I need to compare it to how I've been driving it before, so I need to run it with my Mickey Thompson street tires on the road course to see how my suspension is done if I've gained any improvement and then hopefully I can get to the track one more time and give it a good test. Speaking of tires, I'll show you what came in the mail. My Ranger tire paint. Um, I plan on painting a, a, some a, some billboard logos. Essentially, I'm not going to put Goodyear on my Avons. I do plan on putting Avon on it. So I got to make a stencil, and I can paint that up and make it look a little bit more race car like. So plan for uh, or expect a video about that in uh, hopefully near future. Uh, but other than that that concludes our drive for the day. Hope you. Maybe learned a little bit on tuning your Fitech and at least come to the realization that it won't learn itself, despite that's what it's meant to do. 
you likely will need to do some tweaks. So anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like it at all, I guess.